Hello and welcome to the show. I'm back on Wreckfest today looking at another mod that adds in a rather interesting circuit, certainly with something that we've never seen before. So, the Stockton 99 Speedway does have a demo derby arena, does have a quarter of a mile oval. However, it has a loop. We're talking about a proper loop the loop on a racetrack. Now, admittedly, the AI do get a bit confused with it, but it does actually work surprisingly well. Uh, we're going to go, you know what, Star Beast works. We'll go four laps. It's The, the loop's probably going to get cluttered after about two. But uh, we'll go for four laps, we'll try and get off an actual, fully working loop the loop. Because that's the sort of thing Wreckfest needs at the end of the day. The more chaos you can get in Wreckfest, the better. Oh, bugger. We are quite a long way back. Uh, this might be a bit of a mess. So, <laughs> I mean, it's a... I say it's fairly straightforward. It's probably not. Uh, <laughs> it's bumpy. There are jumps. There are these bank turns. And then we are all going to funnel down to loop. Now, there is a path to the left you can go through. Uh, they're four wide. Here we go. Oh, I've climbed over the back of somebody. Wow. Tell you what, guys, that actually went surprisingly well. I think we might have all got through on the first lap. Well done. They were four wide in a loop. This, this, this is the sort of madness that you need. This is the sort of madness a game like Wreckfest needs. Is the loop blocked? No, it is actually completely fine. Now, the loop is... Oh, you're going to... You're going to cause problems. The loop is technically slightly faster. Oh, dear. No. <laughs> Oh, it's raining cars! Oh, it's, oh, it's it's now very, very broken. And that was all because one Jag got sideways. All because... I think it was a Jag. One Jag got sideways. It rained. It rained cars. We got in trouble. We fell off the loop. Somebody's front flipped their way. Oh, that's a nasty fencing for them. Come here! Oh, missed. Never mind. Ignore me. Uh, oh, you've just splattered into the side of us. I wouldn't go there. I think some cars are actually eventually freeing themselves from the mayhem. That's a bigger jump than I thought it was. It's some vehicle that's actually sort of sorted itself out a little bit over there. <laughs> it's madness. It is complete and utter madness. We've got a better lap. Funnily enough, we actually made it around the circuit. Um, we're going to come maybe seventh unless anyone's... Oh, someone got stuck. Trying to make it around the loop in all of that. Ooh, big bounce, big hit. The copyright roll, something's the wrong way. Not quite sure why they're doing that. But <laughs> there we go. Four wide in a loop. Four, four wide in a loop. We're going to have another go at that one. See if, I see, if we, see if we can do better. See if we can keep the loop open for more than, more than two laps. Yeah. It's actually surprisingly good as well just to like to drive around. The cars don't actually have it's, it's because there's so many vehicles trying to fit through it in in one go. Uh, the vehicles themselves actually don't have a problem. Oh, that Jag's going to cause mayhem. No, it's not. I think they kind of wiggle. They sort of wiggle their way. Oh, we are through. We got side swiped. We are good. Yeah, a couple of cars had little crashes, but everyone's got through it relatively well. Now I am playing this with normal damage rather than simulation damage, because uh, well, it's going to get a little bit crazy. And the last thing you need is stricken cars blocking the loop entirely. Uh, there is someone upside down, but they are out of the way. Someone's roll cage has fallen out. That's not how roll cages work, and that's definitely not safe. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> it's definitely not how how roll cages work. Oh, hello, cars. We'll just bounce our way across here. There's no problem. We're a little bit on fire. A lot of damage has been done to the front of my car. Is the loop still open? Loop is still open here, which is good. I think maybe you do do some damage, possibly, to your car going across there. Uh, I'm still worried about DNFing myself out of that. I think the loop might... Maybe we can get the loop every single time. Yeah. Like, there's only so much, of course, that can be done with the AI, because, well, they're not, funnily enough, expected to have to deal with a loop the loop. It's not something the game is yeah, expected to have to have to work with. Uh, we are going to get the loop every single time. Not a single, not a single blockage. I think that might be the leader in the rover up ahead, but I can't catch him. They will win. I will take a second place. Hey, oh, we lost a wheel somewhere. <laughs> it's a brilliant, brilliant addition. You know, uh, loop the loop is a brilliant addition to <laughs> just about any circuit. And it does work surprisingly well for the vehicles. As I said, there are some other layouts which we can go and have a look at. Shall we do some oval racing? I like oval racing. Oval racing is good fun. Uh, we will go with 
Sure, let's go use a rammer. Let's go for eight laps. Very, very short oval, so should be pretty good. I have found from playing of Wreckfest that oval racing is actually, well, can be pretty damn good on here. If you aren't just trying to smash into everything, you can actually have some pretty damn good racing. Oh, wow, we are at the back. It's going to be a lot of racing for us, a lot of work for us to try and work our way up through the field. It does depend on how the AI are going to behave in all of this, as in how they're going to race. Oh, the larders are here as well. Oh, fantastic. Someone's got a larder into B-Class, I think we are racing in, in this. So there is a larder for us to... Oh, the CRX has decided to bully something. It got away with... Uh, I got away with that. I don't know where it went, but uh, it didn't instantly murder itself. Oh, no, you're going to tag the back of us, aren't you? Rather, you didn't. Uh, hello, Larder. I would be tempted to put you in a wall just for reasons of seeing what happens, because I've got a very big, heavy car, and, well, you do not. Uh, however, with oh, someone's trying to put us in a wall. God damn it, we're going to be stuck on the outside here. Uh, we might be able to get away with it. You can. You know, if you're on the outside, you tend to get a faster run off of the corner. You twitching shark. I'm tempted to put you in a wall somewhere. Uh, I would... Oh, I'd put you down the escape road. I spotted an escape road. I don't know where it goes. Oh, someone put you in a wall. Thank you! You are... It is much appreciated. Uh, you are my new favourite car. Slash driver. So... Well done. Yeah, I want to send the car down that escape road. I don't know where it goes. But would be quite funny. Uh, come on. We can't be beaten by a larder. We cannot be beaten by... <laughs> By a larder in our rammer. I mean, I wouldn't turn down into the rammer. Just a general bit of advice. Hey, they're actually pretty fast around here. Ouch! Well, you got what you what what what, what you, <laughs> you deserved. My brain farted massively there, but they very much got what they deserved. I'm not sure this is the greatest car for this. I'll be honest. Oh, we're gonna have a slide. No, we are not. We are just kind of stuck around in ninth place. This sort of oval, there is enough space so it doesn't get... It's not the short course ovals that I have played with, where it can get very crowded and very, very busy. Uh, around here it does seem... I mean, I'm sure it can do. But around here it does seem to be a little bit calmer. There's less cars getting stuck, so you don't quite get the same kind of collection with the back markers. I'm starting to find a, find a rhythm, find a little bit of speed. We're pulling away from the hot shot, kind of turning the car down, trying to hook the middle of the corner and then get on that power as soon as we possibly can. And it is working to gain some speed here. Might actually be able to hook underneath these two. We'll get one of them. I won't get the estate car. We uh, <laughs> got one of them, though. It has a fun little fun little oval. Didn't quite get the fastest lap of the race, 15.8, uh, to the Midnight Tyrannosaurus, of course. Uh, however, 15.9, not too shabby. Uh, there's another 15.8 down there. Oh, it's 15.6? Jesus, apparently the Rammer can be much faster than I was getting it. As far as an oval goes, if you actually want sort of proper oval oval racing, that works pretty damn well. It's spacious enough for some proper oval racing, and you don't tend to get a big old a big old cluster when things have gone a smidge wrong. Now, I did have a quick test with this, uh, with this map. Uh, so, <laughs> you'll quickly see, this is quite an impressive one. I want to drive a hot shot. I think a hot shot's probably a good idea. Um, we won't go eight laps, we'll go six laps. Don't know if we're going to survive six laps. So, we've seen figure of eights before. It tends to be a lot of fun, it's crazy, it gets a little bit out of control, and a lot of cars get wrecked. We've seen figure of eights with ramps before, where they have a jump crossover point. Thing is, the ramps here are ra rather large. You'll see what I mean very shortly. Uh, the ramps here are, are, are rather large, and there is quite the quite the height. Now, of course, on this first bit, oh no, we'll kind of see it from my car. Oh, ladder! Oh dear! <laughs> we destroyed a larder entirely. <laughs> yeah, so these these ramps are massive, which means you fly through the air. You can do amazing aerial attacks. Uh, occasionally, physics does glitch out when the cars sit on one another. And of course, when you're doing the crossovers, well, the crossover hits are in mid air, and because you are so high up in the air, it basically just everything is massively damaging like that. Less damaging to me. The hot shot got away with that fairly well. Oh, <laughs> this is more destructive than the loop around here. This is way more destructive than than the loop. Oh crap! I want to get through before the crossover cars appear. I think you might possibly damage yourself on the landing a little bit. I mean, it's more just for spectacle, really. It's for spectacle's sake. Uh, oh crap! I'm heading towards a concrete barrier. No, ouch! That that will hurt on the landing right there. There are going to be some very very squished cars. 
Then, I mean, there was the larder from that last video. We saw what could happen to the larder. Oh, good God, there's so many cars! I've landed on your engine bay. Sorry. Um, did you... Look, I was sorry for crashing into you. Don't think I put me in the wall. Someone else got taken down. Oh, bugger me! <laughs> I thought I was going to go behind that. I've not got the timing down for all of that. Uh, oh, the left-hand side of my car. That thing's wrecked. Oh, something jumped over us. We're in 13th position. I mean, again, this is on normal damage, not, not simulation, because you'll probably survive about two laps on sim, and that will be that. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go for a lower... Ooh! <laughs> a lower jump. It's probably worth it. I mean, you might lose a little bit of ultimate lap pace, but in that uh, situation, you probably... Yeah. Nothing looks like it started. At least the back of my car still vaguely resembles the hot shot. Oh, crap. Oh, I'm hoping I was low enough through all of that. Oh, and then we've been sat on. Uh... <laughs> this might... You know, I thought the loop was going to be the spectacular one here. This this might have outdone the... No, you little git! You little bugger, come here. You were the one that tried to put me in the wall before. Or well, not having... There we go. Okay, all sorted. Uh, <laughs> so say we were not having... Oh, that's a painful crash for someone. Somebody else will go won the race. I'm having a lot of fun here. This is cool. I like this. For just sheer carnage. Out of the way, little CRX. Uh, can we get a top 10? Can we survive to make it to a top 10? There's a lot of cars, a lot of wrecked cars around the place. Some are a lap down, some are a lap, probably a lap ahead. Don't really know anymore. I'm on fire. I've got very little health. Thankfully, that didn't take any of it away. Uh, I don't even remember where the finish line is. I think it's actually around this corner, maybe? Don't even, uh, yeah, there didn't actually know where the start finish. Oh, it's actually across the jump. I think we lost the place in the end. We sat on somebody after the finish line and wrecked that car. <laughs> Uh, well, only 13 of us finished. A couple of cars... I say a couple of cars like that. I think I was a lap down. I don't know. It's mad. It is absolutely mad. And, you know, this is just by having larger ramps. Figure 8, something we've seen before. You know, we've seen... It's not, not crazy, crazy to see a figure 8, but by having such huge jumps, it just generates utter carnage. I've got to sit on the larder again. I'm here, larder. Oh, dear. It's not the larder that we murder. We've murdered a muscle car. Uh, thank you for... Whoa, what's going on in the front of that car? Uh, <laughs> yeah, first first ramp. First ramp and everything's unhappy. And splat? Not quite. He got away with it. The hot shot was a good call, I think. This is a good car for this sort of destruction destruction racing. Oh, there's been a massive aerial take out there. Uh, although we are mostly okay. I was mostly okay. We've fallen over. We have got away with it. Bounced back onto our wheels. Oh, we've not quite got to the point of cars far enough back. Now we have. Now we have. Please be ahead of that. Ooh, that was very, very close. We nearly got landed on as well. I think I want third gear for most of this. Uh, are we going to be ahead? Yes, we are just. Uh-oh. Gremlin. Ooh, you, I think you're a gremlin. I can't remember the name of my cars, but it got lucky. It got very lucky. And then he had a big old American boat landing on it. Uh, behind that group. Oh, it got less lucky. I was trying to go underneath. Oh, there's a lot of cars in... <laughs> it is a spectacular, spectacular ballet of damage that goes on in the air. The hotshot's going to just make a mess over there. Oh, please go ahead of these cars. No, I'm going to go underneath that car. Oh, no, because everything's going to aerial attack me. We've been sat on somehow all four of us. How did all four of us survive and no one get taken out by the cross traffic? I don't know. I have no idea. Wow, there's some big hits going on there. I want to get ahead of that which we will. We're up in sixth place. A little bit heavy on the old landing front, but there we go. Really? You're a lap down, you plank. Where are you going? With uh, That thing is... I think that might have been what we landed on on the first lap. Uh, we're going to go behind all of those. Somehow, he's got through all of that. He's pretty much dead, but here we go. I want to kill Hazy. Hazy, come here. We are going to murder you, or hope you get murdered by other... That's fine. You got murdered by other cars. Works for me. Uh-oh. That's overtaken us. I've fallen over. Don't know whether it's like... <laughs> I have no real idea if anyone's a lap down or who's where. You just, it's just, you kind of go and, and hope for the best. If you spot a name that's a car you're racing against, maybe you'll give it a bop. Otherwise... Oh! No, 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 no. Come on. Over, 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 over. Fine, I'll reset. I don't really want to reset the cars unless I have to. Uh, it feels a little bit cheating. Well, you, you can just cheese a lot of the races, but... Uh, there we go. Oh, I've got three cars defending me. Oh, bugger me. <laughs> like that, for example. Actually, to be fair, the reset points stop you from cheesing that one too much. We've been landed on again. You actually end up losing more positions from all of that. It's a sorry-looking sight, our hotshot. 
It is a sorry, sorry looking sight. What a brilliant, brilliant racetrack. I've got to try that with something different. Hold on. We must, in well, it's not going to be very survivable. However, I mean, we could do that. But, uh, <laughs> see, what I was going to do was grab, where is it? Uh, what am I looking for? There it is, the Firefly. Yes, we will go C-Class. Yeah, six laps works, actually. Six laps around here with a fire. Can the Firefly even survive the six laps? This is the bigger question. It's not about, you know, the winning the race. This is just about survival. I think maybe starting further back is good. Don't actually know. It's one of those, if we start at the front, we're just going to get run over by everything early on. Potentially. Or we might just aerial overtake everything! Perfect. That's actually about perfect positioning landing for it. We've made our way up to 13th after the first jump. That's not bad. That's actually not too bad. We're going to make up another couple of positions. Someone's pointing the wrong way. There's a bit of a crash going on there. I think there's something we'll stop behind a rover. Uh, you can see a lot of the cars that have been sat on by the, uh, the damage at the back of them. Or at all of the Volvo, pretty much. Oh, that car's going to have a bad day. We're up to 7th place. Alright, good work, Firefly. So far, surviving well. However, the first lap is always likely to be okay. It's what happens subsequent laps, especially with a lot of lap down cars getting in the way and just... Yeah, as ever with a figure of 8 race. The first couple of laps is generally fine until the crossovers start happening. We're going to go for a little bit on the brakes. You were not going as fast as I was hoping you would, so we got murdered by you as well. Could be worse, though. Uh... <laughs> Could be worse. Look, there was a big mid-air collision, didn't do too much, but somebody's wheel just clipping the rear left of our car. That's what's done the damage. Wow, that Jaguar got disintegrated. I've been disintegrated. No, muscle car, why? You've ma oh, you've made us into a go-kart, kind of. Oh, well, that thing there's quite poorly. Oh, that thing, that's going to murder me. I was hoping he was going to go lower than that. He did not. It's just raining debris. It is just raining bits of car. There's probably still bits of my Firefly somewhere in the air from all of from all of this shenanigans. Oh, we're not going to jump far enough to actually land on those cars. Oh, although the cars, yeah, because we're much quicker through the turns. What the hell is half a car there? Where did the rest of it go? Is that one of the larders? I don't actually know. Oh, brake. That's why we broke. Oh, we broke. <laughs> That's the downside. Didn't really think about that, but because of the size of the jumps, if you are slow trying to dodge something getting hit mid-air, you really run the risk of them being landed on uh, by whatever might be following you if they don't get hit by whatever is in mid-air, but I think it's worth it. I think I'd rather have a car land on me than hit a car mid-air in, in terms of this race. You'll lose less time. I mean, I'd rather not be hit in general. This is under the final lap. We're up to fifth place here. There's some, well, connections going on right there. Oh, big takeout for the cars ahead of us. I'm hoping one of them was for position. It was. We're up to third. Uh, we might be able to get a podium, actually. The, f the little Firefly did bloody well. The little Firefly did do very well indeed. We got up to third. It doesn't look like a Firefly, and I think the engine block was the highest point on the car. But, <laughs> got a podium. That is a really, really cool track. It's amazing what difference, though, is just by having the jumps larger. Just that little bit, little bit more height makes. We have one final go around the loop. This is a very silly idea. I might break the game entirely. Can we get... It's probably not a question that's ever been thought to be asked before. Oh, bugger me, everyone's in double-deckers. I meant to have this at C-Class, I just... Didn't, oh, well. This is definitely breaking the game. Should be fun, though. Can you get a field of double-decker cars to go around and loop the loop? Not a question that was ever thought that needed the answer to, but a question that we shall find the answer to, nevertheless. Uh, Team Sweden up here. Uh, oh, someone's been spun. Here we go. Follow Team Sweden. Up the loop we go. And down the other side. We made it. The loop is still relatively clear, I think. A few cars fell out the side, but that's all right. Uh, <laughs> if they fall out the side, I think most of the vehicles have actually made it through the loop. <laughs> Come on, sneaking, sneaking, up the inside we go. Perfect. Bop, oh no, there is one car stuck on the stuck on the loop. I th Ooh, there we go, around we head. Okay, I think the loop does do a little bit of damage to the front of the car. I think it does do a little bit of like front bumper damage and, and so on, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, they're still making it, holy crap. What a sight. <laughs> That's still one of the most amazing sights I think I've ever seen in a game.
They have cleared it as well. Here we go. For the loop once more. And around we go. No problem. One of them's got stuck on the ring of fire. Uh, that, I actually just want to park up and watch from the side as they go around that loop. That is incredible. We are leading the race. We might actually have a fit. I say fit. Don't, don't say that because that's when you get stuck on the loop or do something dopey. But uh, here we go. One more time. Around the loop for me. We have made it. We're a little bit on fire. Uh, engine failure on the loop the last time around. <laughs> oh, there's a few of them being sensible and taking, you know, the alternate route. There. <laughs> but I did not expect that. I did not expect that in any way, shape or form. But what I do want to now go and do is hide player names. We want a nice free camera. And we will play that. And I want to go and watch... Just, just watch the loop for this. Oh dear, this is a really cool mod, as I said. You know, if you want to do some sensible oval racing, there is a nice, fun oval to drive around. The figure of eight is utter carnage, and the loop, the loop, while well, occasionally the AIs do get stuck, occasionally the AIs kind of start resetting themselves on top of the loop and it gets a little bit broken. However, we just did a four-lap race with double-decker cars. I mean, look at that! Okay, there was a little bit of a fall-off there, and a bit of a fall-off there, and a bit of a fall-off from Team Sweden. However, <laughs> yeah, that's very, very impre it's impressive. It's impressive that it works as well as it does. It's very impressive that it works as well as it does. As I said, yeah, there's one guy that's got stuck, uh, stuck there, but he obviously resets himself. There's a lot of cars go and take the uh, ring of fire. Is it this bit here that's the most impressive? This is the one that I actually saw with the, uh, and everybody around the loop. It looks like a silly scale electric set. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> like the old, the old kiddies scale electric sets. Well, probably wasn't even scale electric. So I don't think scale electric ever did loops. But like the cheap knockoff versions, essentially, that did have the silly loop. That is what it looks like. Only I don't think they ever did double decker cars. If they did, I want to find that set and I want to buy that set. Um, but <laughs> no, go check out this. Go check out this circuit. It's on the Steam Workshop. A lot of fun for messing around. And even some sensible oval racing, if that is your thing. If you want to watch, if you want to do some sensible oval racing, you can. If you want to send a double-decker car around a loop-the-loop, -loop, that you can also do. That, though, is going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.